Walto? Wow. Oh crap. So, all that bracketry that we made, skid plate isn't on yet, but we ended up drilling the holes and we're just gonna do a quick measurement of axle shaft to front axle and uh, we'll do that in a second here and that should measure out to get our uh, straightness. See if it's all in, uh, in straightness, <laughs> in line with each other. <laughs> Anyways, this is looking unreal. So you can see we had to do a three quarter inch uh, spacer drop there. Which are those guys? We used M10 bolts up top here instead of three eighths like I originally said. And uh, we had a little bit of frame bracing. So we got rid of that ugly cut line like I was saying before, cause uh, yeah, that's nasty and uh we did that on both sides so we'll still be doing a bit more frame support here doing the back bumper and stuff but uh this is a three inch frame stretch and uh damn that's unreal walto what's it looking like basically that on. unreal all right well there you go so we did a couple measurements we'll do some more just to make sure for sure but uh wow 820 swap happening um it's probably hard to see but yeah I know it's not hard to see the the axle used to sit like there and uh, if you watch the videos you saw the tire sat way too far in the wheel wells but that's because we did a full custom wheel well set up here the whole back half of this mower is completely custom it's the same with the front half and uh, once we go over the whole back half we'll go over the whole build for you guys because we didn't do that before but uh, we will be getting into that All right. so as you guys can see here we got some work done. Now we're wrapping up day two of this swap, which is actually unreal because like essentially, as you guys can see, the belt's on. Now this is the wrong size belt, whatever, that kind of stuff. But we got this new tube in. Tomorrow we're going to cut out the back bumper section and remount that or re-glue it on there. And then we're just going to go around. Uh, I still got to finish well a lot of this kind of stuff. You can see this new line. I'm going to cut that out. We got to build a little pulley guard off of here to uh, brace the, or not brace the pulley, but cover the pulley. And then we're going to also add some expanded metal into the back here so no uh, kids can put their fingers in here. Not that any kids come out with one with us. <laughs> so we're really excited to get the actual tires on, but first we've got to go to the store, Princess Auto to be exact, and get some hubs and some hub plates and then uh, some studs and get that shit done, and then we can actually get some tires bolted on. Till then, uh, that'll be only like a half second for you guys, but that's a full day and a half for me and Tony, so see you then. <laughs> All right, so obviously, if you're cutting off the back half of your frame, you're gonna wanna reinforce it somehow. So we've got obviously some nice angle iron in here, some tube, um, some flat stock, and then we added in this small rectangular piece at an angle and welded that straight onto the frame there. So you can see all nice and welded. So this is a very strong system now. I do not think Tony's gonna bend his frame whatsoever. And on the other side as well, all solid welded. I'm gonna weld the inside of the frame too, not just the outside. And uh, there's gonna be still a couple more uh, brackets to go in to actually, uh, here, I'll show you. So we got these two mounts for the rear of the transaxle, which mainly holds the weight of the transaxle. But we're gonna be doing some, this bottom spots for the brace and this top hole on both sides is gonna run an angle iron bracket up to the frame so that the whole front of the case is supported along with the rear of the case. All right, as you guys can see, Tony's putting some uh, lugs on to his freshly made hubs. Now, if you guys are wondering what we're doing for hubs here, um, you need to watch some of the older videos on the channel, the uh, off-road, how to make an off-road mower because I go over many times how we weld these hubs, how we make them. Five by 4.5, Jeep bolt pattern. But as you guys can see, these are freaking baller. We run these on all our rigs. We just gotta put a keyway in, and then we can call that a day, and then figure out our spacing on the shaft, which we're looking probably gonna run them out at least that much, if not a little more. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we got Tony plugging away at making another couple brackets. Always making brackets, it seems like, eh, Tony? Always. <laughs> 
Anyways, so as you guys can see, we got the back bumper on. That's a mighty accomplishment. It's just well tack welded in place, but uh, it's looking awesome. Like it's the same original sure. bumper, but three and a half inches back from where it was. <laughs> then if we uh, look a little further in here, we have a uh, adjustable bolt. Oh, that's still hot. Adjustable bolt on um, a belt keeper, like we were talking about. So we just have that. Just wraps over the frame, locks in place. So that will get painted up here soon. All this will be getting painted because uh, before we didn't do any paint, but uh, we're getting paint today, or not today, but this time around. But so as you can see, so the next thing to do is pull the transaxle out, weld some stuff solid. All right, transaxle's back out because we're gonna finish weld the frame. Tony that with his fat head, you'd be able to see the back bumper. <laughs> So we got the back bumper tacked in there and then we're going to add some more uh, little angle iron supports and a couple other supports along the way. But Tony's putting on the bottom skid plate, painted up that, painted up the hubs, got that shit painted up. So there's not a ton of work left to do but there's three major things left and that's clutch slash belt. Uh, brake. Brake. <laughs> Sorry, brake slash do we want to make it hydraulic brakes. And the third but final is, what did, why do I forget all these all of a sudden? What, what's the third one? What's the only other important one? The, the shifter. That's the what it shifter. is. I don't know why. I mean, Tony been smoking too much, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So brakes, shifter, and clutch slash belt. The clutch should be already done because we built that previously, but uh, the belt is obviously shorter because we stretched it three and a half inches. But you guys already know that because you're watching this video. Anyways. So we're gonna get this back together. I filled up my gas bottle for the welding and I'm gonna finish weld the whole inside of the frame, inside all that. And then uh, we're gonna get this all back together, make it out to Maylon. Oh yeah, <laughs> all the way this way position and so it'll swing that. Okay, so it'll swing like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, everything. What do you got there, Nick? Well, there's just a little shift of piece here. Trying to uh, lock that up, go along with this guy, Tony's new shifter, like it. Woo! That looks decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tony, what what's that black cable thing on the ground there? Well, this is actually a cable for a hydro brake system. Woo! Which, which hopefully will work out and. Uh, yeah, I'm working on that right now. There's uh, lots of uh, work to do, obviously, but uh, the original brake set up right in here. Here's the original disc. And I'll show you guys just what I'm doing right now to modify the caliper to fit in there. All right. So you might be able to see right off the bat, lots of grinding happened on the top here. This is just a normal front brakes off a quad, a Geo quad, 110cc quad, nothing crazy. It's brand new, it's a hydro setup like Tony was saying. Works super awesome. We're gonna get that modified, but I had to grind this down to fit in behind the brake disc. Right, so you can see where I'm trying to fit this tiny little caliper. 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 <laughs> caliper. So you can see the original brake setup is just a uh, pressure brake. You push on these two dowel pins and they push two little brake pads together. If you want to know how to make this system work better for your off-road mower, take a look at some of my older videos. I do go through how to make this system work. This is a fine system. We just love the hydro setup for the rock crawling because it just works better. But what I need to do is build a bracket off the frame and uh, drill out these two brackets because I'm not going to use the original uh, bracketry here. So I'm going to get that going. Nick's going to find more belts. <laughs> no, Nick's going to get a belt, put it on the mower, find out it's an inch too small or an inch too big, yeah. go back in there, do that about five or six times. We're trying a 75 inch. 75 inch, here we go. Remember that, people. All right, look at these two goose plugging away at work. <laughs> Nick's working on the shifter. We got the brakes. Um, my name's not Mitch. Nick's working on the shifter. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Mitch is my roommate. But, so brakes are in. We got the hose ran in there, and it goes through the frame. And you can see we got the cable coming up. Got it wrapped here with some extra hose. Nick, what are you doing? Uh, Stuff. What the hell? So we did get the hydro brakes in, I yep. guess. Nice. Absolutely. Is that what this pulls for? Oh, I think, uh, Decent. I think so. Oh yeah, they're accurate representation. So you guys can see. <laughs> and then we got 
We're just doing some welding and some reinforcement in the inside, but the shifter linkage absolutely worked mint. All right, so before Tony's system of shifting was just a sweep rod. So you grabbed it and you sweeped it. This is kind of what it looks like. Nick, what the fuck, man? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> so you can see this. This would go down in that hole and you'd go like that to shift it. That is not a good system. We we'll use it on the three quarter inch axle shaft diffs. Not good. So you guys saw a little next little bracket there. It's gonna go in off of that guy over to the side and then we're gonna have a linkage bar up here that operates on a straight pivot, front and back. So five speeds first, forward I mean, and one speed reverse. It's five speeds reverse. Five speeds reverse. Put the belt on backwards. You guys can see Tony's muffler. We got to cut that up and still get that on. But lots has been going down. We're trying to film as much as possible, obviously. But uh, we're at, we got a week till May long, and well, there's a lot to do. Yeah. <laughs> but look at that. Skid plates are in. Nick's in. I'm in here. <laughs> we got this almost all welded up. We got. Look at that. Don't touch the red guard. You will cut your finger off. I like red. that. I like that Safety a lot. Safety red. <laughs> Safety red. Starting with just a raw inch and a half metal with close to an uh, inch ID. And this is going to go on the outside of the axle shaft. So this is one that's just been roughly cut. And then this is one once I throw it in the lathe, laid it down. I know that one here, nice and straight. So I'll put that beside the hub or inside the hub from the wheel. So we'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute here. But got to lay them down and make them nice and straight because they're mating on flat surfaces. All right, we're doing the first fire up here um, no. with the muffler off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing if the clutch spins the belt and stuff. Yeah, it is a neutral, right? Big Tony's just putting in last screw on his uh, shifter plate. Oh yeah. Beauty. So as you guys can see, we got the uh, brake mounted. Uh, we just gotta, uh, uh, what's it called, bleed the system one more time, but as is, it works unreal. unreal. We're just gonna add one more, brace in the back here so toe can actually use this as a grab handle as well and right down here we see our lovely shifter yeah check right that at the out. bottom we got fifth gear fourth third second first neutral and reverse yeah. <laughs> seat. absolutely beautiful. this is where the battery pokes out so you can disconnect his negative really quick if we're welding and stuff which we will be doing and uh, we're gonna be dropping in a little cup holder in here as well. But if you guys remember Magnum the first time, and hopefully I have a video and I can put that in, but it had a huge sweep like, pattern. Dirty sweep. And it's just uh, not cool. And it, now, like, here, let me stand back for you guys. Now, it's just a full build. And it just levels it out. I'm gonna paint that plate there black, just to, yeah, the shifter plate is going to be black, and then it will have a uh, nice little uh, OKOM on it. And along with that shifter plate, it's got a big, dirty chunk of aluminum. Unreal. For a nice, beautiful skid plate. Yeah, exactly. Don't you already have one, Tony? I have no skid plate <laughs> under the belt yeah. and clutching. So right under the back, or the front, I should say, of the diff, I'll get up in here. Right in here we would like a skid plate, uh, not so necessarily like summertime, still unreal because uh, sticks and shit definitely get poked up into these systems and yep. uh, we don't like that, but for snow, it's just an unreal system, Cover no no snow to get back up in there, no Helps belt slipping, float. it's an unreal mower, let's get building. <laughs> 